And uh, um, I got this. <laughs> oh crap. I hope you guys enjoyed the cinematics. Uh, that one took me a little while, and thanks to the help of my cousin, who's taller than me, <laughs> and was able to tip over the the bag with the camera lens inside of it. Uh, I do want to speak on this uh, this brand, Cafe La Flores, is from Nicaragua. A quick shout out to Jimmy. I appreciate it. Thanks for asking your wife to bring a bag back because I do want to give this a fair shot. I went ahead and ordered another one. The only thing is this one's an espresso roast compared to a medium roast. The only reason being is I think within transportation and then handling, handing it to someone else, putting it in the refrigerator and then me putting it in the pantry because I thought I was going to use it a lot sooner. It kind of just messed with it. And when your coffee beans have a sour smell, it's just because they're going bad. Now, if it has a sour taste, it's just more of an extraction issue on your espresso machine. Uh, like I said, I do want to give it a fair shot. I tried it in a coffee pot. I tried it in the espresso machine and a pour over. And the only thing that kind of did it justice was the nitro brew, which was what you saw in the beginning. Uh, I went ahead and bought the espresso roast, technically a dark roast. Uh, you can make an espresso with a light roast, medium roast, dark roast. That's just how you grind it down. It was, uh, it was really hard to get, to be honest with you guys. Um, I couldn't find the medium roast on Amazon. Like I said, this one was an espresso roast from the actual uh, manufacturer or the, the actual farm that they have an Amazon account. But I want to be able to, to, to really give it the proper review that it deserves. And um, it looks, it smells good. It smells way better than the bag that I had previously. And you can see a little bit more oil inside uh, on the beans so that means it is a darker roast it has been cooked a lot longer it's pour, pulling out the moisture now a few things that i've learned and i'm no expert at any of this uh this is still something new to me i like i said i just love coffee and i'm really just trying to <laughs> expand my knowledge on it but what you want to do especially with your porter filter you want to make sure that it's heated up so run it through a cycle of um, a single or double shot on your machine and then grind your beans and weigh it uh, you want to have at least some anywhere from 14 to 18 grams this is 14 grams uh, i could put a little bit more but it's you know it's it's really about trying to figure out what works best for you when the espresso pours you want to have at least uh, this honey looking texture into your into your shot glasses that way you know that's kind of like your that's like the perfect spot uh, visually to know that you have a good taste remember I said a sour taste is usually just a uh, either under extraction or over extraction and a sour smell is just a, ba a bean that's going bad so we're gonna heat up our milk now we're steaming our milk. The beauty about this machine right here, it does it on its own as far as like the right texture. I suck at texturing this thing. So until I learn how to do it, we're sticking with the fast way. Ah. 
Ah, it's getting there. It's getting there. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. But the, the one that was given to me originally was a medium roast. Now I have the espresso roast. So darker roast. But it tastes good. It tastes good. So I could just imagine how the medium one would taste if it was fresh. Nobody's fault. Just in me being caught up, trying to catch up with other videos and doing other things, I kind of let this one slide. So that's kind of dropped the ball on myself on this one. But, you know, again, I wanted to give it a fair shot and I ordered another one. And in my opinion, it's a good cup of coffee. Uh, I can't complain. So for the rest of the night, I'm sipping on this. For anybody that's interested, I, I am roasting my own coffee brand, Coffee Beans. They're uh, Ethiopian Sodoma. And I'm doing them in small batches because I, that's the only thing, only thing I have as far as equipment is concerned. But I just want to say thank you for everybody who has been reaching out and just showing constant appreciation and love. You guys don't realize how much it means to me. Uh, I've always said I wanted to open up a little coffee shop by the beach and my dad used to laugh and he's like, a beach is always hot. I was like, at five o'clock in the morning, it's cold. Dawn Patrol is cold. I've been to the beach uh, in the morning. It is freezing. I might as well be in New York walking through the snow. But it, it's a it's a first step to so many other things I have planned and I just want to say thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. I, I'm speechless. I didn't realize what a blessing this thing was going to be and it's blown up faster than I could ever imagine. So thank you guys. Peace. Free promo, no free promo. <laughs>